Okay, so today's uh, little exercise, call it an experiment, call it an addiction, whatever we have to call it, um, is to, we're going to basically see what the next size up shock is going to work like on this. With, with the sway bar disconnected off that end. So I don't actually have the next size shock here, but I'm going to use the rubbers on the existing shock and put them on the other side to create um, I guess a longer a longer opening I'll show you what I mean so here this is how the, the shocks sitting on the car now and it's got a probably 120 120 odd mil ride height um, shaft exposed I guess at ride height I mean and now the next shock up is 50 mil longer what I've done is I've taken the other side shock off and I've put the rubber on the inside of it, top and bottom, and that's created a smaller opening here, which is going to give me more droop. So same on the bottom. To replicate what the longer shock is going to sit like. I think I've gone a little bit more, so there'll, there'll be a bit more shaft on the new ones that are coming. So we're just doing this here at home to make it easier for when we just go out the bush and, and just test it. So we've undone, the, we've undone the bolt. We're just going to temporarily replace it with this linchpin. Okay, so these are just a couple of linchpins I had floating around. Now the other measurement I'm going to need for this experiment, I'm going to need it when we're out in the bush. Let's see how much shaft we've got. So if we can remember that one, it's 220 mil. So when we flex it up, we'll see if we're using all that shaft. So that's in at its new pretend ride height. Okay, so this is with the sway bar still hooked up. And um, we've got this wheel off the ground. I'm just going to back it back up to the level ground now and um, come back down. But first we'll take a measurement. 130 of shaft. Okay, so here's the start of the unknown. And um, the linchpins are out. I am very intrigued. Indeed. Well, that's a wow. That's the sway bar disconnected now. The measurement now is 190. getting more up travel too by the look of it so I'm now hitting that shock tower I never had marks on that before so the bump stop that's there is obviously not long not now long enough Yeah, that's a huge difference for me. It's about four inches of travel. And so, um, you know, obviously I'll have the sway bar hooked up when I'm towing or going away with the family in the caravan. But um, it's, you know, it's 10 minutes to completely take it off rather than have those uh, clips that I had. So what I've done is I've just quickly, while it was in the air there, I've quickly just unbolted the, the complete unit just to drive home on it. And that way I know when I'm touring or towing, I'll have it on with potentially the disconnect section if there's any hard stuff but then when I'm going out just for social drives with it then um, I just leave home without it On road, for me, um, I haven't felt any difference at all, and um, 
for me again, the um, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. So if, from what I've read on forums, people say, oh, you know, it's a boat, you, you can roll it and you lose control. Like, I'll still put my sway bar back on for, um, for, for long trips when I'm not actually going to be wheeling, but... Yeah, the, 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 the gains that I got for the little bit of, well, I haven't even felt instability off on-road, um, it's definitely a winner for me. I'm going to set it up so that it's, uh, it's going to be part of, like, just like air and down. So it's the sort of travel I expected when I bought a 79, with the live front end, coil suspension, um, and you know, all over the forums, people are complaining about how how rigid the front is. And you know, you really have to do a little bit of work, even to the motors in these things, to uh, to make them perform. And the suspension's been no different. But I think we found a way that I, I'm going to be happy with it, and I'm not going to be picking wheels up and trying to fall over all the time. So um, I'm happy. And again, thank you for watching.